you started by saying that people are rejoicing, they are delighted. And I'm wondering who are you speaking to? Of course, you are rejoicing and you're delighted, and that's completely understandable. But the ordinary Kashmiri who's locked up in his house, has no internet access on his mobile phone, he can't, you know, for very long have spoken to people outside, people who are dispossessed, disconnected. How can they be rejoicing no, 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 in backwards again, again, imagination? Again, again, it's almost as if the government is living in an alternate universe. Absolutely not. Rather, you are maybe inadvertently carrying a brief for those half a dozen people who have spoiled, who are responsible for having created this mess. And I'm, I, I, I am rather worried that you still carry the brief for them. And I have no hesitation to say that they are the ones who have thrived in an atmosphere of vacuum in the valley. They have thrived on 8-10% voter turnout. I would rather wish someday uh, an intelligent uh, channel or a magazine like India Today also initiates this debate. There should be a minimum threshold for being recognized as a member of a Lok Sabha or a member of an assembly. These are the ones. Sir. Now, now let, me, let me complete. Let me complete. Now, as far as the internet is concerned, I am very sure, and I'm sure most of us would agree to that, the prevention of a human life is more important than suspending an internet. Secondly, internet, no doubt, in today's time and age, has become a necessity, but to a great extent, it's also a luxury. Whereas prevention of a human life is an absolute necessity and not a luxury. And therefore, if some kind of preventive measures have been exercised depending upon the inputs available, I think we should rather be supportive of it. Sir, I carry a brief for human rights, I carry a brief for liberty, and I carry a brief for democracy. And I don't carry a brief for your government or any other government. And now, I now let me let me let me let, let me let me add to what you're saying to substantiate what you're saying. If you carry a brief for democracy, you would rather be the first to welcome what has happened in a, to enable the people of Jammu and Kashmir to get rid of governments which get elected by 10% voter out. A. If you carry a brief for liberty, you would be the first to denounce those who lodge their children in, in safe heavens abroad and ask the neighbor's children to become sown pelters and sacrifice their lives. And if you carry a brief for what is the third thing that you, sorry? Human rights. Human rights. The greatest violation of human right is to burn the school buildings of a poor man's children. Whose human rights are you talking about? You're talking about the human rights of those who have been distributing free periods. And unfortunately, unfortunately, some of us have developed a vested interest in becoming beneficiaries of that. I think you are rather exposing yourself to the to, to, to inviting a serious accusation of being one of those beneficiaries. So uh, let's not carry... The, I, I, I think what I have said is an evident enough. It is, and time will bear us out, history will bear us out. What has happened is in the best interest of democracy, which has been liberated from that 10% voter out. It is in the best interest of human rights. You burn the children's, poor man children's schools, and you're all children in UK, and you are talking of human rights. And the third one is, uh, again, I forget, sorry, Rahul. So liberty. Very, Who's liberty? Very... No, no, whose liberty is it? Whose liberty is it? The, the Kashmiri Pandits hounded out of their homes and hearths? Is that the liberty? And whose composite culture are you talking about? Whose culture? Whose Kashmiriyat? Kashmiriyat, the inherent characteristic of Kashmiriyat is its composite culture. A, a very fine, optimum combination of Shwaism and Sunnism. Sir, and when the Kashmiri Pandit is out, that composite culture itself stands eroded and destroyed. Minister, accusations are easy to level. Much I'm not making accusations. I'm responding to your accusations. No, I'm responding to the, 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 the theory that you put across. No, you said that what you're saying borders on, you know, being accused of dangerous things. Accusations. No, I, am, I am just clarifying the definition of liberty, the definition of democracy, definition of, of, of human rights in the context of Kashmir. And, and I am also saying, Sir. I, I am also saying that Amit Shah as a Home Minister has been very liberal, very kind to these detainees. His, his own predecessor, the then Kardju was Home Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru was Prime Minister, had put Sheikh Abdullah behind the house arrest far away, 2,000 kilometers away in Kodekral, and that is the actual SOP of a house attack.